Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Icarus. Um, previous session, we managed to go up from level 7 to level 9. Um, worked out why all our stuff kept respawning, and uh, disabled that thanks to the person who told me that tip. Um, we found a cave. There is a cave, I think it was H12 in line up here. Uh, which you just got some iron ore from. Can't use it yet. You get level 10. I think it's level 10 before you can start using iron ore. But it's good to have some in um, in the inventory or have some in storage for when you hit level 10. Um, so yeah, we then came down. I don't know we look along here. There's no caves along here. I don't know if there's a cave over here. I might go and investigate over here today and over here and around here because going all the way up here is quite a way. Um, and again, I might have a look along there, along that wall there, see if there's any... Uh, caves. There are some in the lakes sometimes. I don't know if there's one in this lake or not. Um, I may have to have a quick swim around and see if there's one underwater. But first things first, uh, let's take care of our water. Okay. And then our talent points. Uh, let's shut that. So, tech tree, what do we want? Um, unlocked leggings last time I want how many points have I got four so I want to unlock them that's just out of curiosity more curiosity's sake more than anything else and the wooden shovel so I'll unlock that that gives me one point um I don't need a sickle at the moment I don't need the fire arrows I don't need the shield I could do with a wooden torch if it burns for longer, so I'll take that. Yeah, let's see if it's that for now. And I have one talent point that I can use. Um, what do I want to use it on? Let's think about this. I don't want to over exotics. Yeah, reduce penalty. I don't need to worry about that at the moment. I've increased my dense packing. Uh, I'll increase the lumber yield for now. I don't think I've got a solo, have I? No. Alright, let's make a spade. What do we need to make a spade, if I can find it? I did just unlock the spade, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Doubting myself then. Um, I need some wood. Okay. A spud. Let's make that. What's that? Wooden railing gate. Okay. Oh, this is going to fall on the floor. Oh no, it didn't. Where is it? Where is my speed? Don't need you. Mm. I need one of you. I need one of you. And I need one of you. Stone, you can go in there, keep the oxide on me, I need one of you because just let it go to uh, rotten anyway, and destroy that. Um, where did that spade go? Am I going mad? Did I craft it? Ah, it's there this time. Right, let's put it in there. Number eight. What can we do with number eight? Where can we dig? Oh, we just dig anywhere. I see. So it doesn't actually deform the terrain. Okay. So dirt. Have we got dirt on this? What, what's that? Berry seed bar. No, I don't see what that one either. It's not too full. Got too many things on me. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that or that. Don't really need them on me, if I'm honest. You come down, go up. Uh, 
Uh, don't need you or you, I've got plenty of you, so you can up there. Fishing rod can go on my backpack for the moment. Repair hammer can go in the crate. Yeah, okay, so that's that done. So, crafting, crafting. Dirt mound. Let's craft a dirt mound. Oh, it is just a little mound, literally. So if I find... Um, say some watermelons. Put them in there. Can I then use? Oh no! I just drank that crap. Um, Right-click to water the plot. Okay, it must be fully watered. Press F to interact. Okay. Well, let's let's build a couple more of those if I can. Might as well try and grow some crops. What other crops can we grow? What other seeds do I have? I don't really want the fibre seeds. Let's grow some sweet corn. There's one left. What else have I got? Carrots. There we go. Who doesn't like a carrot or two? Help me see in the dark. I need it because it's pitch black. Oh, it's because it's night. I haven't slept yet, have I? Um, nine. There we go. Stick them back in there. Let's stick them dirt mounds back in there. Let's see what happens with them. Stick the dirt in there as well, just out the way. Actually, no, I want to see what I need to make a dirt foundation. 20 dirt. Okay, eight. A bit further away than I was expecting. Hmm. 
That brings a new um, dimension to the game. There's some other bits you could build as well, wasn't there? Or did you have to unlock them? Um, now we had to unlock them. Ramp and corner. Uh, it does suffer from damage from the wind. 50 wind resistance, falling tree resistance, insulation. Um, Okay, let's go get some sleep anyway. I need to sleep. Oh, campfire's not lit. Okay. So it would be possible to build like a little bit of a... locked in area with them. Am I stuck in this tree? I'm stuck in the tree. <laughs> oh, we're getting unstuck. Cut the tree down. See, I don't want to waste the wood. this tree to worry about. Well, I can clear my inventory down again. Ever clear my inventory down. Um, and I've got wood piles outside but I'm just going to stick in there for now. Uh, the dirt can go into there. Um, don't need you Plenty of sticks to be honest. So you can go in there. That's food. I'll leave the fishing rod behind for now. Your food so you can go down there. Bone arrows. Bone arrows. Bone arrows. Right, let's just go and take a look at these walls around here, see if we can find another um, cave. So which way is that? Literally straight over that way. If anybody's wondering what a sponge looks like, that's a sponge there. I've already got one, so you can store water with it, but it looks like it's uh, tainted water. Right, I need some light, see what I'm doing. Where is this wall? There's a one to the left here. Yeah, I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't look very helpful. No, didn't look tall enough for a start. Uh, maybe it's here. Try. No. Got a beard. It's always hard to have oxide on me. go. Where's the next one? Just here. No, it's just no cliff here. No cave here. It's too low. Oh crap.
I got stuck on something in the wall. You're not taking me alive, matey. So that's that wall, there's nothing on that one. Let's start the far end of this one and work our way down. Bees in there. You sometimes find bees in the truck there. Uh, these half logs are sticking up. Right, this is the end of it. Let's just slowly work our way down. Nothing here. Nothing here, doesn't look hopeful. No. No, nothing down here. Down here. Uh, here we go. Here's the cave entrance. Again, the door shape. See? You just gotta start looking for that and you'll find these caves. And how close is that? Uh, it's about the same distance away, unfortunately. It's not really any closer to my base. But you can never have too many caves because they are not fine. Uh, they are finite. And the ore they produce is fine, it doesn't respawn. So, once it's gone, it's gone, unless you have a deep vein, which is why I've been marking those deep veins. Right. So, just a little cave. Oh, bloody hell, right in front of me. Oh crap, there's one behind me as well. How did I not get poisoned? Oh, now I am. Nuts. Oh, I care, I'm die. See my health going down now because I hit three times. Right. Consume. Come on. Well, I've not had one pop up behind me before like that. Oh, Jesus, right in front of me again. Oh, it's a nasty cave, isn't it? It's a trophy, by the way, that I've just picked up, I believe. Um, let's see if that covers some oxygen. There's another worm down here that popped up. At least I thought there was. Maybe so wasn't. Uh, that is titanium, I believe. Or platinum. So you've got platinum. You can't mine platinum. But you have a steel pickaxe, I believe it is. Gold you can. Don't really need gold at the minute. Titanium, again, you need steel. Iron is what I want at the moment. And you hear that clunk when it's completely consumed. Um, there's no copper in here, is there? Any copper? That's copper. Uh, copper's also useful. You can't make a lightning conductor once you've unlocked it to go and put your building. To stop lightning setting a building alight. The 
again. It's a useful thing to have. And you need lots of copper when you start building electronics and things. Which is why I marked both those uh, copper sites because I will need a lot of copper. It's just a shame I couldn't find a, um, an iron vein. That'll stun us out. Oh, health. Take, take that. A too small sense of what we've got on that one. This one consumes one space of topic 75 max stamina, which is what I want. So it's that. So is that one. That's nearly gone. I might as well consume it. I'll get my health and things back up if nothing else. Right, how we doing weight wise? Oh yeah, plenty of weight. Continue um, mining this. I know it's also good for your experience mining ores. As you see, you get 70 points per ore. I can't find the last little bit to make it go cling and consume it. Axe broken, pickaxe broken, repair that. Bow's not looking too good, my knife needs repair, and so does my spade. Of course, it's easy to do at the moment when you've got um, just stone tools. But once you move into uh, metal tools, you've got to go back to your base and repair them on the anvil or on the workbench. And you need to have spare resources to oxygen load. Whoa, 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 why is my oxygen so low? Is there any oxide out here? Oxide? There's got to be some oxide somewhere close by. Oh, I've got some on me. Consume stack, there we go. That's why last time I didn't consume a stack, I just consumed one. Alright, is there any more oxide around? Let's have a quick look. So, there's some. Of course, now I've come out that um, cave, the worms are going to be back. Which is a bit frustrating, but can't be helped. Is that a cave there? No, it's just a shadow. Alright, there we go, I've got a bit more oxide so I can make sure I can get home in time. Here we go. I'm ready for that time, matey. As you can see, there is absolutely loads of uh, ore in this one. I tend to be in these smaller caves quite a lot. Um, I mean, there's a lot in the bigger caves, but further apart. How are we doing? Okay, we're mass. Let's just get some gold. And there's a storm coming. I'd like to get up to level 10 this uh, episode. Purely because I want to get that crafting bench and start to be able to make more complex things like the um, furnace and uh, metal tools. 
metal weapons. You know, all these good things. And the Oop. Gotta watch my weight now. I don't know if I can by myself. Okay. You know what? Let's just... Oh, that storm sounds terrible. Can I make it back to my base? I suppose the good thing is it's downhill. Now it's not take storm damage. I'm going to use down the lake. Actually, that, that cave's not too far away. It's not too bad. things first, let's dump off our iron. We're going to need another... That's gold, isn't it? That's gold. It's the oxide. I'm going to need another chest. Just to keep... Let's put the metal ore in here. So... Why wouldn't you just flick over when I do that? Okay. So we've got nearly two, well, 168 um, iron there. That will go very quickly. I think it needs two per ingot. Go on there, take that. So I am using a sponge, it only as a last resort. Days. It's just still morning. Good. Here's the high winds coming. Are they going to do much damage? I don't think so. It's only a mild storm. It shouldn't really do much damage to my base. I don't think it has. Okay. But I am taking storm damage. What was that over there? Oh, that's my can and I think it's my can and the uh, deep vein. Ah, so you can see them from a distance quite well. Oh, hello, wolf. Goodbye, wolf. What's that? Uh, wind exposure. Okay. Crafting, let's craft some leggings. Do a little bit of protection, repair that. Okay. 
So we know there's a cave over there. Over there? Over there. No, over there, isn't it? It's up on that wall. And there's a cave there. Let's just have a quick look along this wall. See if there's any more. Here around the river, up to the head of the river, and then we'll kind of use the right here. Um, up the head of the river, and then start following the wall around. I'm very surprised I haven't seen any wool, uh, any bears yet. I must admit, I've normally run into a bear long before now. And if anybody watched my previous season, I think I ran into about four in the first couple of episodes, and yes, they did kill me. Several times, in fact. Right, so let's get some oxide. Sometimes that kind of like ledges on there, you sometimes get um, caves. Like I say, if you don't want to look for them, you can just download the, the Gauntlet web page and look at where they are. And it'll also tell you roughly what's in each cave because it's, it's different every time. But there's generalizations about what you find there, what type of uh, material you'll find there. Sulfur, uh, looks like sulfur, salts. Can I get up here? Yeah, there's nothing there. Did I miss anything here? I don't think so. No, nothing there. Here, it's a bit of a straight bit of a. I think there's a glitch there. If you're watching devs, you've got an issue. Look, not much be watching my poor little channel. No, no caves, no caves. Oh, Christ. I wonder if I've replaced the bears with the um, Tyrannus. Can I get in the back of the head? No, I get in the front of the head though. Come on. Oh, boom. Sorry. You will feel guilty killing the mother. Let's 
get rid of the carcasses so I don't get uh, plenty of wolves or anything in. Right, actually, you know, I'm so close to going to level 10. How far away are we? There we go. Right. Level 10, reach. Woohoo! Crafting bench, that's what I wanted. Right, let's just uh, head back to our base once we covered this. Right, actually, you know what? Where are we? Let's just finish running, looking around, and then we'll head back to our base. Now, uh, inventory. See you now. More Tyrannus about I can hear them. No, I'm taking no caves at this bit. It's under there, just a shadow. And now we're nearly back to where we were with the other cave up here. I think that was a deer going. But I could be wrong. Sulfur? Have I just seen some sulfur? Days it, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Where's the other torch? Ah, sticks. All bloody things. Sticks with the hundreds of them back in my base. There we go, craft that. This will burn longer, it's a wooden torch. Right. There's some more stuff up there if I need... Ooh, where am I going? In this corner. Right, come on, I know you're in here. And I know you're just itching to jump out and attack me. No? Well, that is unusual. Okay, well, in which case... Let's get some more ore. Um, I probably don't know which room from which more have I. No, no, okay. 93 to 120. While I'm doing this, why don't I... Where is it? Um, waste not receive stone additional resources when mining ore deposits. Oxygen seed increase yield from oxide. No, well, definitely not that. Oh, we've only got two. Yeah, I was trying to find the iron miner, that one. I've got a few things I've got to unlock before I can get to it, though. Um, I definitely want that one, because that uh, increases my stamina quite significantly. And I'll do this when I get back to my base. I'll go through the tier two.
Not an oxygen. That's all we got to load. Sometimes you can't reach the node, and a good thing to do is just to make like a run. I think the roof run, the Android roof piece. I sure what I mean. Um, that piece there, and then you can use it to climb up to get the, the bit you can't reach. Or you can just jump. If it's in reach to jump, that is. Obviously, sometimes it's too high. Alright, there we go. What we've got left? Which space? Yeah, okay, still. Let's see if this is all good XP. A funny shadow you can see is my helmet or my um, this, I think, interfering. Uh, 114, 15, 16, 17, 18, that'll do. Right, base. Head home. Some health, that's some health, that's some stamina I can assume. Yeah, what about that one? I'm also surprised not to have found any bees yet. Um, there's not many bees in the um, caves as well as um, the worms and certainly when they first put them in there was a lot of bees about that might just be because that was the, just initially added it to the game and uh, they were waiting to rebalance it uh, rebalance it, I don't know but I've not seen any bees yet right Come on. So that's iron, copper ore, sulfur, I go near the one. You can go in there. You can go in there. Go on there. there. You can go in there at the way. No, it's actually called seed I want to put in there. And that can go in there as well. That'll be turned into fertilizer later when I unlock fertilizer. Uh, we could go in there, and I need a drink of water. Right, let's see what we can unlock. Tech tree, so we've got to build a crafting station. So what you can do now you see is you can build the um, oxide dissolver and oxygen bladder and then you take the oxygen bladder with you and uh, you have a lot more oxygen when you're out and about. Got the cooking station there, got the stone furnace, all of that. Um, point is getting that without that. Uh, rain reservoir, so that's better than the uh, rain catch we've got outside. Uh, skinning bench, I want that for now. 
So, let's build a crafting station if we can. What do we need for the crafting station? Stone. Twelve stone. Well, we know we've got stone in here, so... There we go. While I'm here, let me just... stick you on there. Uh, right, crafting station. Craft you. Is that a quicker build? And we put you here. Now you see the size of this workbench, they're all... But a lot of them are similar sort of size, so you do run out of space. Um, on here I can build that, I need 80 stone, well again I know I've got another 100 stone in here. So I'll take that. Uh, build the... what's this? Packed fuel brick. Okay, that's new. Were uh, wool from fur, or fur from wool, even. And the skinning bench, I need some wood, which I know I've also got here somewhere. Here it is. Right, so first things first, let's build our furnace, and then we'll build our crafting bench. There is the furnace. One, done. And there's a crafting bench. And you've also got some storage in here so you can store things if you want. Um, the furnace I like to put over here so I'm going to move you. Take all. Make sure it's the right way. Yeah. So we want our coal, and we want. Oh, the one coming is going to be slow. Coal goes in as fuel. You can use wood as fuel, but I like to use coal. And then the two lots of iron ore in there. And that will make an iron ingot. Yeah, that's two iron ore to one iron ingot. Our skinning bench. Uh, come down here. Stick you, say. There. And then you. Can go over in the corner, trying to walk on me fire. This will set me on fire. There we go. Right, so that's that done. So that is now we're now smelting iron, which is a good thing. Um, we've got a crafting bench, so you can now make some rope out of fibers. Um, just do that because they're useful. We've got that. Got that. We haven't got any tree sap yet. To get the tree sap, I'm going to need the pestle and mortar, which is level 2, and that is somewhere over here. There it is, that one. I will be unlocking that next time I go up a level. Um, because that also allows us to make uh, flour from the wheat, and then we can make, when we unlock it, uh, flatbread. Flatbread over there. It also allows us to make a steel bloom when we get high enough levels, so we can start making steel and some other components as well. But it also allows us to get tree sap from twigs or sticks. Um, what's the ice box? Where is the cupboard? Is the cupboard in here? I've moved it again. I can never remember. Um, there are weapons and things. It's beehive. Wooden cupboard. We'll also be looking to get that because again, I think it stores about 40 items. 
It has the same footprint as one double crate. Right, um, windows, shutters, what do I need for that? Fibre and wood. Oh, I've got plenty of fibre on that one. Uh, there we go. How many do I need? One, two, three. Three shutters. That's unusual. I normally need it. That's unusual. I normally need about six or seven. <laughs> I don't have so many windows in my base. Um, go. Uh, and then just come to press F, and it pops them open for you. I do want them open, so at least you can see some of the light coming in. How our torch doing? Twenty wood. So in all our time, we've only burned five wood, which is good. And it is eight o'clock at night. No, six o'clock at night. And I think I've done everything I wanted to do today. I've got uh, level ten unlock. I have now got my furnace going. So let's just put the rest of those ores in there if I can pick them up. If you press Control and Shift, and click on one of them, it'll transfer everything. So let's get them out of the way so the ingots can go first. Um, yeah, transfers everything of that type. I should say so. Control, sorry, yeah, left Control and Shift, left click, and move both the copper over. Move that over. Stick the copper in here, and the gold. It will smelt them, it tells you what it can smelt, so iron, copper, unknown ore. Oh, no, can't do gold. I thought it could do gold. Shaped obsidian into... from what? There's obviously obsidian somewhere in the game now. Uh, steel bloom and steel bar. So I can't do gold, so I might as well stick the gold down the bottom out of the way. Okay guys, I think we'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe if you'd like to support me more long term. I do have a Patreon page, uh, link is in the description. Uh, if you want to leave any comments or tips or anything like that, please do so. And I, I do read them all and I do tend to respond to them all. If you'd like to watch some of my other games, I do have some other series which are also linked in the description. For now. Start like game, I wish you game. Good night.